With the local elections upcoming in May, the Labour Party are engaging in expectation management with senior sources saying they're worried about Long Corbyn. But what exactly is Long Corbyn? Remember back in 2015 when Ed Miliband stepped down as the Labour Party leader? He all but vanished. Nobody talked about him. Nobody talks about him today. But Keir Starmer has been the party leader for two years, yet we're still talking about Jeremy Corbyn. The Labour Party seriously needs to be talking about vision and policies rather than the last leader. It just goes to show that the fact that Jeremy Corbyn is still smeared by mainstream politicians and the mainstream media shows how truly scared they were that this man was going to tax billionaires and end illegal wars. The Labour Party have done a fantastic job of trying to convince people that they're no longer Jeremy Corbyn, but it's a really weird strategy they're taking because people aren't thinking about Jeremy Corbyn. No one is thinking about Jeremy Corbyn. People are thinking about the energy crisis, the cost of living, the wage crisis, the invasion in Ukraine. This also won't make them more favourable because people will say, well, hold on a second, you campaigned for this man to be Prime Minister just a few years ago. So this man managed to rise to the top of the party. Either, either he's not that bad or you lot are just full of shit. We've even got front bench MPs appearing on Question Time, desperately trying to convince people that they didn't campaign for Jeremy Corbyn in 2019. Now that was Wes Streeton, so he didn't need to do much convincing. We know he didn't campaign for Corbyn. In fact, the 2019 general election results was probably perfect for him. Landside Tory majority, but also keeping your seat. Labour MPs are just utterly unserious people and goodness me how they got to the positions they're in. This sort of politics is going to be dominating the next 10 years of the political discourse with just zero answers to any crisis we face, just simply who can manage the country better. But it's not the 90s anymore. This sort of politics is outdated. Westminster offers zero answers to the big questions we face and we are heading to a fairly dark decade with younger millennials and Gen Z being another missed generation. This is why it's so important that we have an explosion of left-wing media. There are other outlets currently out there and Turn Left wants to be a part of that. With unserious politicians, unserious political parties and quite frankly unserious politics, then we need to combat the current narrative. Thanks for watching. Enjoy this content and want to see more? Then subscribe to Turn Left and make sure you turn notifications on. We want to expand and get paid for the work we do. So consider becoming a supporter and donate to our Patreon. Remember to like and share this video. The future is independent media.